Welcome to the real Italy. Listen to the beautiful music. See the smiling faces. And taste our delicious fresh fried truck. And join in the fun and excitement of the real Italy. It's Festa time again. Bring your children, your partner, your neighbors, and even your dog. Try our tempting food, dance, and traditional dress. This August weekend in Porto Chese. It doesn't get any better than this. Hope to see you here. A letter from Officer Kotze? I never thought he would be writing a letter to me. This is going to be fun. Where did I put my paper knife? Ah, there we go. Now let's see what he has to say. Miss Myers, I want to thank you for your assistance in the Rinaldo case. I'm also deeply grateful for your testimony in court. What has happened to him? Is he really writing to thank me? I want to apologize for the way I treated you when we first met. Wow, how gracious of him. But I'm not writing this letter to simply apologize. Here it comes. Every year, our little town celebrates the feast day of Maria. We would like to invite you to come and celebrate with us on the 17th of August. Everybody will be happy to see you. What date is it today? It's August the 16th, so the feast day is tomorrow. I better hurry. Matt? Matthew? What? Can you give me the phone number for a taxi, please? I gave you the business card yesterday. I don't have any spare ones. Oh, I need a vacation. It should be here somewhere. Where did I put the damn card holder? This is not a business card for a taxi. This is not a business card for a taxi. Ah, here it is. Schindler's Taxis. I'll give them a call. So strange that nobody is here to meet me. I hope I haven't mixed up the dates. There you are, Miss Myers. Hello, Herman. I was afraid I'd miss you. Luigi asked me to come and tell you he would be late. Oh, what happened? I don't know. Some urgent business, I guess. But you can wait for him at the cafe. Let me take your luggage. I will keep it safe until everything is sorted with your accommodation. Thank you, Herman. I'm sorry, Miss Myers, but I need to run. So I'll see you later. See you. How strange. It looks like I have no choice but to wait for Luigi at the cafe. Lino? Oh, it's good to see you. Good afternoon, Miss Myers. Weren't you working on that train? Yes, well, it's a long story. Are you okay? You look tired. I've been going through a difficult time in my life. Excuse me, I need to go. But what's wrong with everyone in Porto Cheso today? Anyway, I should go to the cafe. Oh, it's closed. Great. And what am I supposed to do now? I suppose I'll take a look around.
Great, I found a scissors. A pair of scissors? And it's covered in blood. Something is definitely going on here. Maybe this is the reason why the police are so busy and the cafe is closed. Anna, I'm so glad you made it to Porto Cheso. Luigi, where have you been? What is going on here? I'm sorry, Anna. It's just that everyone is very busy with the festival. I thought something serious must have happened. Why did you think that? Well, because everybody seems so busy. And I found these scissors covered in blood. Can I have a look? Oh, don't worry, Anna. I think these belong to the doctor. A baby was born recently. Oh, really? That's wonderful. Who is the mother? It's Chloe Como. I don't think you know her. She lives in a room right above the cafe. Oh, I love newborn babies. Can you introduce me to her and her baby? I'm afraid not. Why? Did something happen? No, no. Everything is fine. It's just that she doesn't want to see anybody. And she doesn't want anyone to see her child. Why is that? Oh... It's a long and complicated story. I'll tell you everything about it later, but now we need to run to the festival. Everybody is waiting for us in the town square. We're almost there. It's just around the corner. Amazing! I didn't think the festival would be so big! This is only the beginning. Do you see this giant frying pan? This is the central stage of our festival. We'll be serving tons of fresh fish to the locals and our guests. Incredible! Uh, buongiorno, Miss Myers. Good afternoon, Officer Cozzi. Let me introduce you to my wife, Theodora. Ah, oh, it's so nice to meet you. At last, I get to meet the legendary Anna Myers. The cracker of criminal cases. Oh, I think you're overestimating my contribution. Officer Cozzi and Luigi did all the hard work. Oh, don't be so shy. We couldn't have done it without you, Anna. Buono. Enough with the pleasantries. This festival is nothing but an excuse for sinful excess. I've always hated it, but this year... Forgive me, Lord, it is worse than ever. Theodora, darling, it is just a festival. I'm telling you, our town is becoming the Sodom and Gomorrah of Italy. Theodora, you need to relax. Talk to people, have fun here and there. Oh, you sure know how to have fun. Theodora. The time will come and all will be punished for their sins, Giuseppe. My dear, wait. Luigi, what is she talking about? Don't pay any attention to her. This is just the way she is. Let's just enjoy the festival. Why don't we try our skills at the shell game? Yes, why not? Myers, are you enjoying the festival? Yes, I'm loving it. I'm glad to hear that. May I apologize for Theodora's behavior? I don't know what's gotten into her. She is usually a gracious and charming woman. I'm sure she is, Officer Cozzi. You know, I would like to invite you to our home this evening. What do you say? I would be delighted. Luigi, you're invited as well. Buono, Signor Cozzi. Good. See you later, then. Officer Cozzi has become very... Sentimental. See, I always told you that he has a good heart. Oh, Anna, I want you to see the puppet show. You're going to love it. Sounds interesting.
Wow, that was cryptic. I wouldn't have figured out the culprit. You would have, eventually. Miss Myers, Luigi, did you happen to see Adriano? I can't find him anywhere. I haven't seen him all day. He is so unreliable. We are almost out of trout. He was supposed to bring some from the harbor. Damn, Adriano. What now? Without the fish, the festival will be ruined. Don't worry, Herman. We will go to the harbor and find him. Grazie, Luigi. Luigi, look. There are boxes full of fish, but no sign of Adriano. That drunkard. He's probably at home sleeping, as usual. Let's go and wake him up. Where does he live? He lives in a small bungalow on the other side of the cliff. This passage leads to his house. Adriano, are you here? I bet he's sleeping. Let's go inside. Strange, there's nobody here. Let's look around. I'm not sure that's a good idea. Ah, uh, Luigi, come on. I just want to find Adriano. Great! I found a ticket. Hmm, a ticket to Parma. Uh, uh, what are you doing in my house? Why are you searching through my things? Regina! What is going on, Luigi? Wait, Regina, calm down. We were just looking for Adriano. Hey, ragazzo, give that ticket to me. It is mine. Oh, I'm really sorry. Here it is. I didn't... Give it back to me. Regina, I'm sorry for... It's Signora Valenti to you. Signora Valenti, I'm sorry for the misunderstanding. We were looking for Adriano. We thought he might be at home. I found this ticket while looking for clues on Adriano's whereabouts. Are you finished? Well... Get out, then! Regina, do you know where Adriano might be? He's probably drunk in his sheepfold. A sheepfold? But we don't have any sheepfolds in Porto Cesso. You have no sense of humor, Luigi. Try looking for him in the church. Now get out. Luigi, who was that? 
Adriana's wife? No, they just live together. How modern. Yes, and the townsfolk don't like them for that, as you can imagine. They seem like a strange couple. Yes, they are both quite the characters. Anyway, there is no sign of Adriano here. We'll have to deliver the trout by ourselves. Will you help me? Of course. Great. Let's pick up the fish boxes at the harbor and bring them to the town square. So many boxes. How are we going to transport them? Look, there is a cart. We can load the boxes onto it using the crane. Damn, the handle is missing. It must be around here somewhere. I found a handle. This must be it. All right, let's load the boxes.
Great, let's deliver the fish to Herman. Miss Myers, Luigi, thank you. You have literally saved me and the whole festival. Signore, signore, the fish has arrived. Would you like to taste? Mm, that's delicious. Perfetto. So, should we try to find Adriano? That drunkard, well... Regina mentioned the church. Let's go and check it. I haven't seen the church in Porto Cesso. Where is it? It is near the cliffs. I will show you. This way, Anna. So, this is our church. It's beautiful. It is, but it has been abandoned for quite some time. There was a landslide, and the church foundations became destabilized. Oh, that's terrible. Yes, indeed. Well, let's get closer and look for Adriano. Adriano! Adriano! It's very dark. Can you see anything? No. I'm here! Help me! Oh, my goodness! Are you okay? Yes. Just get me out of here. There should be a rope up there. Okay. I'll look around. Great. I found a rope. Let's get him out of there. We've got the rope, Adriano. Hold on. Oh, oh, look. My blonde guardian angel is here. You're welcome. Adriano, how did you end up down there? I was looking for some quiet, cool place. But why? To hide from the heat. It is August. Well, what can I say, eh? Mio Dio, Adriano. What happened then? I went down to the crypt, and then suddenly somebody dragged up the rope. I told them to stop joking around and drop the rope back down. But the good-for-nothing scum ran away. Do you know who they were? No. And they should pray that I don't want to find out. Adriano, what I can't understand is why you came here in the first place. Herman was counting on your help. You were supposed to bring the fish to the festival, but you went looking for some quiet, cool place. No, uh, I told you, I couldn't stand the damn heat. Adriano, I don't want to hear it. Just go and help Herman. All right, all right. This is just unbelievable. Let's get going, Anna. So, what do you think about this incident? Oh, just forget about it. That drunkard always gets himself into trouble. I suspect it was Regina who left him there. But why? I'm sure they just had one of their wild arguments. Do you mind if I look around? Sure. I found a glove. What is it? A glove. A new one. I'd say it's a mechanic's glove. Why does it bother you? It could have been lost a long time ago. There is no dirt or dust on it. It was left here recently. Hmm. 
Anna, we should go. We promised we would visit Senior Kotsi for a coffee. Oh, you're right. Let's get going. This is his house. Good evening. Welcome to our home. Good evening, Signora Cozzi. Please follow me. Giuseppe is waiting in the dining room. Ciao! Welcome to my home. Good evening, Officer Cozzi. Coffee or tea? Coffee, please. Uh, me too. So, are you enjoying our festival, Miss Myers? Yes, absolutely. It's so much fun. In fact, I... I went to visit her. Our trout is exceptional, don't you think? Yes, it's delicious. Don't act like you don't hear me, Giuseppe. The baby was born the day before yesterday, Lord, forgive me. But she won't reveal the name of the father. Lord, my heart is broken, but you are near. My spirit is crushed, but you are my rescuer. Your word is my hope. Here is your coffee, Miss Myers. Thanks. What a lovely Austrian porcelain. Yes, my, my darling, Theodora and I were on holidays in Austria. Don't you, darling, me. Theodora, please stop this. We found Adriano, by the way. Oh, really? I bet he was drinking again. No, he went down into the crypt to hide from the heat. Into the crypt? <sighs> that drunkard never ceases to amaze me. But somebody pulled the rope up and Adriano was trapped. We think it was Regina. Another small family argument, I suppose. It can happen to the best of us, right, honey? You call that a small argument? I'm afraid to think what would have happened if it had been a big one. Well, I think we should get going. Yes, it's been an eventful day. Officer Cozzi, Signora Cozzi, thank you for your hospitality. Thank you for coming. That was so awkward. <laughs> Theodora is always like that. Don't mind her. She was talking about Chloe Como, wasn't she? Yes. Chloe had been working as a housekeeper, and Theodora suspects that Signor Cozzi might be the father of her child. Are you kidding me? That's what the rumors say. Well, that explains a lot. Signora Cozzi was so mad that she kicked Chloe out onto the street. She was left with barely any money, no place to live, and the baby was due. My God. Gosh, what did she do? Fortunately, Marco let her stay in the room above the cafe. What a relief. What about you? Do you have a place to stay? Oh my, I completely forgot about that. Don't worry, I talked with Officer Cozzi. You can use the same apartment you used the last time. Ronaldo is in jail and his property has been confiscated, so you are free to use it. Herman has already delivered your luggage there. All right. Thank you, Luigi. Let me walk you there. Luigi, I'd like to visit Chloe tomorrow. But I told you, she doesn't want to see or talk to anybody. Maybe she will make an exception. I really doubt it. Well, I'll see you tomorrow, Anna. Good night. What an eventful day. But it's time to get some sleep. Should I find Luigi and convince him to try and let me visit Chloe? Or do I have a better chance without the police? Yes, I think I'll go alone. Hmm, I'm sure I had some Swiss chocolate somewhere here. It would make a nice gift for Chloe.
and some chocolate. Great. Now to the cafe. Lino? Good morning. Good morning, Miss Myers. Are you also spending your holidays in Porto Cesso? I decided to quit my job and move to Porto Cesso. Oh. May I ask why you made such a decision? I met the love of my life. Oh, that's lovely. Who is the lucky lady? Her name is Chloe Como. Really? Oh, congratulations on the childbirth. I'm not the father. I met her only a few months ago. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know... Don't be sorry. It's the sacrifice I made to be with her. How is she? I was about to visit her. I don't know. I haven't seen her since the baby's birth. Why not? Apparently, she doesn't want any visitors. And the owner of the cafe makes sure that nobody disturbs her. Well, he's nowhere to be seen now. Let's give it a try. Miss Myers, welcome back. I didn't know you were in town. Have you come here for the festival? Yes, Officer Kotze invited me. Really? It's not like him to send invitations. I was surprised too, but here I am. Uh, pardon me for a moment. Hey, Lino, order something or get out. You can't just sit here for free. Uh, some coffee? No, thanks. Anything else I can help you with? Yes, there is. How is Chloe doing? Oh, you are a true detective, Miss Myers. You know everything. <laughs> Chloe and her baby are healthy and are full of energy. Thank goodness. May I see her? I'm sorry, but she doesn't want to see any visitors. I see. Then please give her this present. Oh, how nice of you, Miss Myers. I'm sure Chloe will be very grateful. Ciao, Anna. Good morning, Luigi. What are you doing here? Did you go to see Chloe? I tried, but I didn't manage to. Of course, I told you that she doesn't wish to be disturbed. By the way, Signor Cozzi has invited us for lunch. Oh, no. I don't think I could sit through that again. His wife was acting so strange. He promised that everything will be civilized this time. Really? I guess we have no other choice but to go then. Yes, I guess so. We can go there right away. Grace and peace from God our Father and Christ Jesus our Savior. Is Signor Cozzi not at home? He should be here any moment now. Please, take a seat. This is strange. Signor Cozzi is nearly an hour late. That's unlike him. Yes, he went to the police station and promised he would be back in 15 minutes. Something must have happened. Or something urgent might have come up. Yes, urgent is the right word. Let's go to the police station and look for Officer Kotze. There are no signs of Senior Kotze, but his holster is here. Let's look around. We might find something that will lead us to him.
I found a witness statement. Look what I found. A witness statement. Someone was robbed at the festival. Can I have a look? Signor Cozzi is probably searching the crowd for the pickpocket. But why didn't he ask for help? Maybe he was in a hurry. Or maybe he was overconfident as usual and thought that only he could find the thief. Let's go to the town square and talk to people. Maybe somebody has seen him. So, what have we got, Luigi? In short, nothing. A lot of people saw him, but nobody knows where he went. Then we should explore other parts of town. We need to check the harbor and the train station, too. Nothing. It seems like he just vanished. Don't panic, Luigi. We will find him. Excuse me. Are you looking for that old policeman? Yes. Then you are searching in the wrong place. And with whom do we have the pleasure of speaking? I am Cesare Casale. I am a mechanic. Well, Cesare, it looks like you lost a glove. What? Damn, you're right. I must have dropped it in the crowd. I found this yesterday. It might be yours. You're right. It is mine. Thanks. Where did you find it? Near the church. Really? I don't remember being there. All right, yes. I walked around the grounds last week. Wow, this is an expensive car. Is it yours? Yes, it sure is. I didn't know that mechanics were so well paid. I get a trade price, and it's my hobby. I love cars. So, when did you last see Officer Kotze? About an hour ago. It was dark already. He went to the cliffs. He might still be there. Let's go and have a look. Thank you for your help, Cesare. It was my pleasure. Anna, look! He's here! What happened to him? Thankfully, he's alive. Signor Cozzi! Signor Cozzi! Mio Dio! Where am I? Try not to talk too much. We'll help you to get home. Does it hurt? It does, a bit. I'll give you a painkiller, and then we can clean the wounds. Do you have a first aid kit? Yes, it should be in the cupboard. I found a first aid kit. 
Give me the first aid kit, Anna. Officer Kotze, can you tell us what happened? Well, I don't remember much. I was chasing the pickpocket. God, he was fast as hell. I chased him up to the church, but then lost track of him. And then, when I turned around, somebody knocked me out. Did you see who it was? No. His face looked dark, like he was wearing some kind of a mask. A mask? That's interesting. Well, it was already dark outside, so I might be wrong. You said you went up to the church, but we found you tied up on the cliff. That means you were brought there by the attacker while unconscious. Luigi, we should go and search both areas. We might find some clues. It's too dark, Anna. Let's wait for tomorrow. Tomorrow might be too late. Officer Kotze, do you have a lamp or a flashlight? Uh, yes, I think there's one in the cupboard. Great. I found a flashlight. Found it! Wait, I'll go with you. You have to rest, Signor Cozzi. We'll handle it. It will be difficult to find anything now. Luigi, please, don't start this again. We may find something important while everything is still fresh. Could you hold the flashlight and light this area for me, please? Sure, hand it over.
Great. I found a fishing line. What have you found? The fishing line that Officer Kotsi was tied up with. Adriano is a fisherman. He might have something to do with all this. Not necessarily. Why would he attack a policeman and tie him to a tree? Attacking a policeman is a very serious crime. Well, he was Kotsi's chief suspect in the last case. I don't know. We have to search the church area. I found a torch. What is it? A torch? Yes, and it is still warm. Someone was using it recently. May I see? Hmm, it might belong to the attacker. He might have been hiding in the crypt. It's very unlikely. He could not have surprised Kotsi without being noticed. There is no easy way out of the crypt, as we learned yesterday. Are there any other dark places where he could have hidden? There might be, actually. People say there's a passage into a cave. The townsfolk used it to escape in times of danger. I don't know if it still exists. Yes, there it is. But we better not risk it now. Who knows how long this passage is, or where it leads? Then we must prepare accordingly and come back here first thing tomorrow morning. Agreed. Let's get back to town now. Signora Cozzi! Oh, Miss Myers! Have you found Giuseppe? I've looked for him on my own, but to no avail. Oh, don't worry. Officer Cozzi is at home and is probably asleep. Really? He's kept us all waiting and now he is asleep? He really has no manners. Oh, no, it's not like that. He was attacked and injured. Luckily, he wasn't hurt too badly. But he does need a good rest. For heaven's sake. I'd better hurry then. I'll pray for him at home. Good night, and thank you for all your help. God bless you, Miss Myers. Good night. I'll go as well. We need to get some rest before tomorrow. All right. See you tomorrow, then. Yes. Good night, Anna. Time to rest. Good morning, Anna. May I come in? Hold on, Luigi. I'll open the door.
in. Have you seen Officer Kotze? How is he? Yes, he is feeling much better. That's good to hear. So, are we ready to investigate the cave? Almost. We just need to get some strong rope. I think there should be one in the shed at the cemetery. Let's go grab it, then. Great, I found a rope. Here it is. Great, hand it to me. Okay, let's go and explore the cave. Let's enter the cave. That was easier than expected. And look where the cave has led us. See, I told you that Adriano was involved. All right, let's talk to him. Adriano, can we come in? Yes, but keep your voice down, will you? I have a headache. What is it? I have a terrible headache, so be quick. Keep off the booze if you don't want a headache. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's enough, you two. Adriano, can we ask you something? Shoot. Do you recognize this fishing line? It's just an ordinary fishing line. Do you know anything about the passage that leads from here directly to the church? Uh, what passage? What cave? Why have you come to my house to ask me these stupid questions? Hey, hey, Adriano, just answer the questions, or I will lock you up for good, you hear me? Officer Kotze was attacked yesterday evening and tied to a tree. 
What? And you, you, and you want me to say who's a me? I might have like a drink, but I'm not a stupid. I would never attack a police officer. Oh, yeah? Where were you between 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. yesterday? I was fishing on this damn lake. Can somebody confirm this? Regina, for example. Regina? Damn woman. She's gone on some stupid theatrical tour for amateurs. She thinks that she is a, some sort of new Eleonora Duse. She went to Parma, right? Yes. Uh, how did you know? I saw the ticket the other day. Do you know when she'll be back? Uh, on Wednesday, I think. All right. Luigi, there's nothing else he can tell us. Let's go. Adriano, we are leaving. But this is not over. You hear me? Ah, oh, just leave me alone. Hmm. Doesn't this boat belong to Adriano? It does. Why are you asking? I'm just wondering. Why is his boat sunk in the water? Good question. Look, there's something inside. Let's get the boat out of the water and see what it is. We could ask Adriano to help. No, let's not. There might be something important, something he shouldn't see. It's full of water. We'll have to bail it out. I'll look around the harbor. Maybe I can find a bucket. All right. Meanwhile, I'll try to pull the boat out. Great! I found a bucket. Anna, I'm afraid I'll need your help here. There we go. Now, let's bail out the boat. What do we have here? Great! I found some grease paint. What's that? Grease paint. It could have been used by Officer Kotze's attacker. He said the attacker's face looked dark, remember? Yes. And how could Adriano go fishing if his boat was flooded? That's it! I'll arrest that drunkard! Don't we need more evidence against him, Luigi? There's already enough evidence. I have nothing to do with this, nothing. 
Why am I always a suspect, huh? Miss Myers, Luigi, I found you at last. Herman, what happened? It's Chloe. What about her? What happened? Chloe is dead. What? Mio Dio, what happened? I don't know the details. Marco found her dead in her bed this morning. Oh no! Yes, a terrible tragedy. Officer Cozzi is already there, and he sent me to find you. Anna, you can go to the cafe and help Signor Cozzi. I will join you a bit later. I need to take Adriano to the cells. Gosh, poor girl, what happened? Miss Myers, I am currently on it. Where is Luigi? He arrested Adriano and took him to prison. He thinks that Adriano is your attacker. Adriano? You're kidding me. He would not dare. Everything points to him so far. I can't believe it. Well, let's deal with it later. We have more important things to do now. So, do you have any idea how she died? Not yet. I have just started investigating. What about the baby? Where is it? The baby is missing. Oh, no. All right. Let me help you. It looks like she was strangled. But I don't see the murder weapon. The murderer could have done it with her bare hands. I don't think so. There are bruises all over her neck. She was strangled with a rope or a belt. Let me look around. The murder weapon might still be in the room. I found a tie. A silk tie. Officer Cotzi, what do you think about this tie? Well, it's a male tie, quite worn, I must say. Right, and I believe it belongs to Lino. How do you know that? I met him yesterday in the cafe. He was wearing this very tie. Miss Myers, are you sure about this? I will have to arrest Lino. I'm sure it's Lino's tie, but I'm not sure he's the murderer. What do you mean? Why? I have my doubts, as usual. But the tie is his, right? Yes, but... That's enough for me. I hope he's still downstairs. Let's hurry. But Officer Cotzi... Ah! Lino, is this your tie? Yes, I think so. You are under arrest for the murder of Chloe Como. What? There must be some mistake. Yes, sure, that's what they all say. Let's go to the police station. You will have plenty of time for explanations there. Hi, 
it is so sad. Yes. Such a young girl. Nothing would have gone wrong if... if people weren't so prejudiced. Do you know what happened? No. No, it was just an ordinary morning. Did you see Lino this morning? Yes. He comes into my cafe same time every day. What for? Why, to see Chloe, of course. <laughs> That's not a secret. And did he? No. No, Chloe didn't want to see anyone. No exceptions. When was the last time you saw her alive? Early this morning, right before I went to town for supplies. And then? Then I went to the cellar, then back to the cafe, and I started serving customers. When the rush stopped, I decided to get Chloe something to eat. I went upstairs, uh, found her dead. What about Lino? Was he still sitting in the cafe? No. When I came back from town, he was gone. I see. Well, Marco, thanks for your help. Do you mind if I look around the cafe? Suit yourself, Miss Myers. Great! I found a makeup kit. A makeup set? Why would Marco need this behind the bar? Oh, Luigi, hello. How did it go with Adriano? He was really wild, but he is in a cell now. Signor Cozzi wants you to go and help with Lino's interrogation. Meanwhile, I will seal off the area. Okay. Thank you, Luigi. Miss Myers, I was about to start. Lino, tell us about your morning. What did you do? What did you see? In detail. I went to the cafe as usual. I wanted to see Chloe, but Marco said she didn't wish to see anyone and refused to let me in. But I wanted to see her badly, so when he left for town, I decided to sneak upstairs to her room. That is so disrespectful. I wanted to see her badly. And I wanted to find out why she didn't want to see me anymore. What was her reaction when you finally saw each other? She'd shown no emotions. I just sat down and we started to talk. She behaved very differently. Looked worried and stressed. After some time, Chloe asked me to leave. To leave immediately. So I did. All I could think about was why it wasn't the same as it used to be. Did you see the baby? No, I didn't. What? 
Impossible. You're lying. I'm not. I wish I'd seen the baby so I could understand what this was all about. So the baby just disappeared, right? I don't know. I don't know anything. If you can't tell the truth, then I'll keep you in jail. I don't care. You can do whatever you want with me. Miss Myers, could you do me a favor, please? Yes. After our last case, headquarters sent me a fingerprint kit. Can you bring it to Luigi? I want him to collect the fingerprints from the crime scene. Of course. Thank you. Great. I found a fingerprint kit. Luigi, Officer Kotze asked us to collect the fingerprints from the crime scene. Do you have the fingerprint kit with you? Yes, here it is. All right, let me prepare everything. Meanwhile, I'll take a look around. I found the Bible. Have you found anything? Just some Bible. It probably belongs to Chloe. This edition looks a bit too expensive for her, judging by the financial situation she was in. Then she must have borrowed it from someone. Maybe. Okay, everything's ready. Let's collect the fingerprints from all the surfaces. What do we have? Three different sets of fingerprints. Okay, let's count who has been here recently. Chloe, Marco, Lino... Not necessarily. Maybe one of them didn't even touch any of these items. But the killer did. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go and compare the fingerprints. It's not so easy. We will need to collect fingerprints from the whole population of Porto Cesso. We already did. The fingerprints are stored in the police station. Really? That's great. Let's go to the police station and compare the fingerprints. Here, let's compare the fingerprints that we collected to the ones from our file.
The test has confirmed what we already knew. The three sets of fingerprints belong to Chloe, Marco, and Lino. Then there's nothing else we can do. Ah, oh, I can't believe it. Do you know the plans for Chloe's funeral? Yes, the funeral is tomorrow morning. So soon? Who is organizing it? Marco. He volunteered to pay the expenses as Chloe has no relatives. Right. I'll see you at the funeral in the morning. It's Chloe's funeral today. I must wear something black. Where is my black headscarf? found a headscarf. All right, I'm ready to go. Miss Myers, will you come to our home and have some tea and homemade marmalade? Yes, that would be lovely. Luigi, please come as well. We would be delighted. Si, signore. Thank you. That poor girl. As it was said, and I will judge you as women who commit adultery and shed blood are judged, and bring upon you the blood of wrath and jealousy. Theodora, my dear, you are being unfair. No one deserves to die at such a young age. She knew what she got herself into. Uh, Miss Myers, feel free to try our toast and marmalade. It is homemade. Mmm, mmm. It's delicious. Yes, Theodora's marmalade is well known all over Porto Ceso. What was that noise? Hey, Giuseppe, where is the Chloe's baby? What did you do with that bastard child? Watch out! What's the meaning of this? Stop it right now or I will arrest all of you. Calm down and go home. Burn in hell, adulterer, adulterer, adulterer! Play or deal! How dare they attack my house! Is everyone all right? Yes, apart from a few broken windows. Mamma mia, we need new windows. But where can we get them this late at night? Herman might have some spares. I'll give him a call. We will need some tools from the service room as well. I'll go get them. I'm going with you, Luigi. Do you see the tools? Not yet.
great. I found tools. Found them. The box looks heavy. Let me take it. Okay, let's head back to Kotzi's house. There you are. Did you find the tools? Yes, there you go. We've got everything. Let's get started. Thank you all for helping out. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going upstairs for a little while. We're almost finished. Just a little bit of cleaning and these windows will look as good as new. Anna, there should be a rag somewhere. Could you pass it to me? Of course. Just a second. Great. I found a crucifix. I couldn't find the rag. Oh, I'm sorry. It was here. I'm wondering if Officer Kotze is as religious as Signora Kotze. No, he is not. Why are you asking? Well, look what I just found. A crucifix. It's definitely Theodora's. Did you know that she is the head of the local Christian group? No, I didn't. They advocate for purity, chastity, and other virtues. But I think they go too far sometimes. That's true, Miss Myers. I've been to one of their meetings. Mamma mia! Some of the things they discuss are absolutely crazy. How intriguing. Well, it's been a long day. All of us need to get some rest. It seems that our investigation has hit a dead end. Both Officer Kotze and Luigi believe that the right people are in jail. But I have my doubts. I don't think that Lino and Adriano are guilty, and Chloe's baby is still missing. I guess the only way to solve this puzzle is to start from the beginning. Regina should be back from Parma. I should talk to her first. Oh, good morning, Luigi. Hello, Anna. I just had an interesting thought. Remember when Signor Cozzi was attacked? What if it was Lino who attacked him? Why would he do that? Think about this. There are rumors that Signor Cozzi is the father of the child. What if Lino was jealous? What if he believed the rumors and wanted revenge? You know what, Luigi? I was going to talk with Regina. Maybe she could tell us something that would shed some light on the case. Yes, let's do that. Let's go on. Luigi, be careful. Damn it. 
These boxes are blocking our way. Let's speak to Regina at her home. Regina, can we come in? Regina! Hmm. The door is open. She's not here. Strange. The room looks just as it looked when we arrested Adriano. Like nobody was home all this time. Look! Her ticket is still here. She hasn't even left the town. What? Let's look around, Luigi. Maybe we can get an idea of where she might be. I found a male handkerchief. An elegant male handkerchief. May I see? It's too elegant. It can't belong to Adriano. No, someone else must have left it here. What if Regina has been cheating on him? That's an interesting thought. It would explain a lot of things. Luigi, what are you doing? There's something under the floor. Let me help you. Great. I found some love letters. Look at this. Love letters to Regina. We were right then. Regina has been seeing somebody. Is there any signature? No. No names or signatures. I don't like where this leads. Adriano could have found out that Regina was cheating on him, and this might have provoked an evil reaction. We should go to the police station and speak to him. Hello, Adriano. We have a few questions for you. Oh, yeah? Well, go on, Blondie. Regina has gone missing. Do you have any idea where she might be? I already told you. She went to that stupid theater in Parma. She didn't. The ticket was still in the room, untouched. And how should I know where she is, huh? I was locked in the damn cell all this time. You do know, Adriano, and I will tell you exactly what happened. You drink too much. Your appearance leaves much to be desired. Your income is unstable because you can't commit yourself to productive work. The whole town knows about your complicated relationship and vulgar behavior at home. You left Regina no other choice but to find another man. It's none of your business, choir boy. Who are you to say that to me, huh? Watch it, Adriano. Yeah, I found that that damn woman has been cheating on me. And I will get her for that. But listen, I don't know where she is. I have nothing to do with the attack on Signor Cozzi. 
We've been here before. Just release me. I am innocent. No way, Adriano. Come on. Adriano does not seem to know anything about the disappearance of Regina. We need to speak to Marco. Do you think Regina is seeing him? Oh, I doubt it. He doesn't look her type. But I feel that he is connected in some way. We should search the cafe one more time. Okay, let's do it. Ciao, Marco. We have a few questions for you. Uh, sure. I am uh, happy to help. Do you know Adriano Ponza and Regina Valenti? Of course I know Adriano. Uh, he delivers a fresh fish to my cafe every morning. Uh, if he is not drunk, of course. Uh, as for Regina, uh, I barely know her. Uh, I mean, I know who she is, uh, and I've seen her a few times, uh, but that's all. Have you ever visited their house? No. Adriano always delivers his fish here, so there was no need for me to visit him. I see. I have one more question, this time about Chloe. What about her? Chloe was poor and had no money. How could she afford a room in the cafe? How could I charge a rent to a poor pregnant girl? That would be immoral. Yes, you are right. Anything else? We will need to search the cafe once more, Marco. Of course, but uh, I hope the search will not take long. I cannot keep the cafe closed for a long time. I, I can barely pay my bills. I understand, but the baby is still missing, so we want to make sure we are not overlooking any details. Okay, okay, you do what you must. Great! I found a newspaper. I didn't know that trains from Austria passed through Porto Gesso. An interesting read, Anna? No, it's just that I noticed this newspaper. Can you show me? It is in German, and it's called Konin... Kon... Kronenzeitung. Ah, yes. So what about it? It's one of the most popular Austrian newspapers. It's strange that it's here. Some passenger must have left it here, that's all. Let's go upstairs and search the room one more time.
I found a pacifier. Nothing. Chloe had so few things that sometimes I'm not even sure if she lived here at all. And I don't see any signs of the baby. What if she's made this up? The baby is real. Otherwise, there would be no motive for the murder. Besides, look what I found. A pacifier. I don't even want to think what could have happened to that poor baby. Indeed. Let's go downstairs and check the entrance to the cafe. It's our last hope in this desperate search. found an invoice. Oh, goodness. Luigi, you should see this. What is it? It's the invoice for Chloe's coffin. What's wrong with it? The coffin was extra large in size. Yes, I know this, but why? Chloe was such a tiny girl. Exactly. A standard coffin would have been big enough to fit her. Which means, there can only be one reason for such a big coffin. What do you mean? We will need to exhume her grave. I fear the worst. Oh no, not again, Anna. Luigi, please. It's a matter of life and death. <sighs> All right, let's check the grave. Let's check Chloe's grave in the cemetery. Let's get the shovel from the shed.
Wait, I found a shovel. Got it. Give it to me, please. All right, let's do this quickly. Luigi, what is going on? What are you doing? People are already angered and incensed because of Chloe and her child, and now this? Officer Kotzi, we strongly believe that something very important is hidden inside the coffin. Miss Myers, here we go again. I tried to be calm and pleasant, but now I would like you to stop this immediately. Senior Kotzi! I said stop digging and close up the grave right now. Senior Kotzi, you should see this. Luigi! Mio Dio. Chloe and Regina. What is going on here? Right until the very last moment, I hoped I was wrong. I don't understand. How could he do this? You think Adriano did this? Of course he did. Who else could? Everything clearly points to Adriano and Lino. They both killed their women out of anger. That's really doubtful. But let's examine the body. Maybe we can find out the real cause of Regina's death. Great. I found a hand watch. A hand watch? It might be helpful. Great. I found a brooch. This brooch doesn't fit the style of Regina. I don't see any open wounds or signs that could tell us how Regina died. Asphyxia. Asphyxia what? Asphyxia. A deficiency in the supply of oxygen to the body. She was strangled. How do you know? There are no marks on the neck. Look closely. Blue, almost violet colors indicate that. Okay, but why did you take her hand watch? Because it has stopped. Here, have a look. See? Her hand watch shows 7.43. So what? A watch can stop working at any time. It hasn't simply stopped. It broke the moment the body hit the ground. So it's safe to assume that the watch was broken at the time of the murder. You said she was murdered two days ago, right? Yes, most likely. Then it couldn't have been Adriano. I arrested him around two o'clock that day. Exactly. And a little later, Lino was taken into custody as well. So neither could he. Mamma mia, why do you always have to overanalyze everything? We had a perfect theory, and now it is absolutely useless. But Officer Kotzi... I know, I know. We need to find the truth. Therefore, we should reopen the investigation. So what do we do? We have to find Regina's lover. Regina's lover? Yes. She was seeing someone. We found these love letters in her room. May I see? Hmm... So what possible candidates do we have? Let me think. Marco, Lino... I don't think Marco is a candidate. He is not her type, and he is not wealthy enough. Lino was in love with Chloe, so he wasn't interested in Regina. The only possible candidate is... Cesare. What? The mechanic? Yes. He has all the traits Regina would look for. He is wealthy and well-mannered. Who is this Cesare? Officer Cozzi, it's Cesare. Miss Myers! Do you remember the day when you chased the pickpocket and you were attacked on the cliffs? How could I forget? Well, Cesare was a crucial witness that day. He told us exactly where to find you, and that was quite suspicious. But we don't have enough evidence to arrest him. I didn't say we need to arrest him, but I do think that he might be Regina's lover. That day, the two of them could have used grease paint so you wouldn't recognize them when they attacked you. We found it in Adriano's sunken boat.
Show us what you found. Didn't you say you found it in Adriano's boat? Yes, but I believe he was framed. But why would they attack me? What did they want to achieve? Adriano was behaving badly to Regina. He was vulgar, disrespectful, and he even beat her. She was sick of it and wanted to teach Adriano a lesson. She also wanted to see Cesare more often, so they decided to get rid of Adriano by framing him. Yes, it makes sense. But who is the killer then? Cesare? I doubt it. But he might know something, nevertheless. You know what bothers me the most? The invoice we found. The coffin was purchased by Marco, so he definitely played a role here. I just don't know what role. In any case, somebody had to transport Regina's body from her house to the cafe unnoticed. Which is impossible without a truck or a shortcut with no people around. A shortcut, of course! There's a passage through the caves to the church. Maybe it leads to the railway station, too. Yes, maybe. It's worth taking a look. All right, listen up. Luigi, clear this up. Make sure no one sees the bodies. Once you're finished, find out all you can about this chase array and wait for us in the police station. Miss Myers and I will look for the passage. Si, signore. Luigi? Could you also please contact the police in Vienna? Ask them to send the files on any recent murders committed by women. Committed by women? Anna, what is going on? I'm not totally sure myself, but I will tell you once I know more. Okay, I'll see what I can do. We should light this torch, but we need some matches. Officer Kotzi, do you have some matches or a lighter? Sorry, I don't smoke. I'm sure Adriano has some in his house. I found some matches. Great, great. Let's see where this passage will lead us.
I can't believe it. You are right. That's the passage Marco could have used. Officer Kotzi, we need to arrest Marco as quickly as possible. Stand back, Miss Myers. He might be armed. I'll sneak into the cafe. Be careful. Marco is inside. I need Luigi's help. I'll go get him. Anna, where is Signor Cozzi? Did you find the passage? Yes, we did. So that means that Marco is... Officer Cozzi is on the platform now. He needs your help to arrest Marco. Got it. By the way, I contacted the Austrian police. Yes, and? They told me that they had already sent a package on behalf of Signor Cozzi. Really? I found the files and put them on the front desk. Great. Let's see what we've got. No, that's not what I'm looking for. Where is it? Brave lady defends against. The maid killed the owner, shot him dead before attempting to commit suicide. Here it is. Elsa, whom she murdered later. Did you find what you were looking for? Yes, most likely, but I'm not finished yet. Is Marco's photo in his file? Why do you need his photo? I need to check something. His file should be somewhere here. You can look for it while we are busy with Marco. I better hurry. All right. Thank you, Luigi.
Great. I found Marco's file. Here it is. Marco's file. He sure looks like this Elsa Brandt from Vienna. Let's compare this with the photo from the file. Just as I thought. Hey, gentlemen, I don't understand this. Why am I here? Move it! Officer Kotze, we will need to get one more person in here to close this case. Your wife. What? Theodora? Why? I believe she is a crucial witness in this case. It doesn't make any sense. All right, Luigi, hold him. So this was your idea, Miss Myers? No. These were your ideas, Marco. And I'm not even sure I can still call you that. Miss Myers, what's this about? I have a very important meeting with my Christian group. I'm afraid this might take a while, Signora Cozzi. Please sit down. Let me tell you the story about Elsa Brandt, a little girl from Vienna. Elsa liked carnivals and masquerades more than anything in her life. However, carnivals had been known to result in excesses. Even murders were committed under the cover of a mask. So it was better and safer to ban carnivals altogether, thought the Austrian emperor, and issued a decree. The decree that Elsa considered to be a profound personal tragedy. On the other hand, Elsa thought, why would she need a carnival? She can use makeup and be whoever she wants. Oddly enough, she wanted to impersonate boys. She had been practicing a lot and had always dreamed of becoming a famous actress one day. But alas, the years were passing and there was no success in sight. Elsa became middle-aged, poor and miserable. She needed to do something with her life, and so she did. She found an elderly widow called Annie Beringer. Not particularly wealthy, but wealthy enough for Elsa. Elsa decided to become Eugen Grana, a man who would marry Annie, then kill her and inherit her wealth. The case whipped the public into a frenzy as soon as they discovered it was a man-woman murderer. Elsa had no choice but to flee Austria, so she settled in a small town in Italy. Uh, this is a complete and utter nonsense! Officer Kotze, check these documents sent to us by the police in Vienna. I think we can easily prove this tale by removing Marco's fake wig and moustache. I can't believe it. Anna, how did you find out about this? Primarily because of the Austrian newspaper and the makeup set we found behind the bar in the cafe. But also, there were other details, like Marco's voice, the fact that he is new here. This makeup set is important evidence. Could you give it to me? Yes, of course. This is just unbelievable. Marco! You are under arrest for the murders of Chloe Como and Regina Valenti. I didn't kill anyone! Don't lie to us, we know everything. I'm not lying, I was blackmailed! Blackmailed? 
I'm afraid this is true. What? Do you know something about this? Somebody knew about Marco's real identity before us. Miss Myers, this is... I, I don't understand. Who is the murderer, then? Let me finish first, and then you can express outrage. Signora Cozzi, you are very religious, right? Me? Yes, of course I am. We found this Bible. I believe it belongs to you. Yes, it's mine. Signora Cozzi, when we visited your house for the first time, you mentioned that you went to visit Chloe. You made it sound like a failed attempt, and we know that Marco didn't let anyone in. However, I'm sure that he did let you in, despite Chloe's wishes. Or, should I say, it was actually your wishes Marco had been listening to. What are you talking about, Miss Myers? I was thinking about the Austrian porcelain you had from your holidays in Vienna. Signora Cozzi must have seen Elsa's photograph in the newspapers and recognized Elsa in Marco. In order to be sure, she asked the Viennese police for the files on Officer Cozzi's behalf. What? It's true. The files were already here. Signora Cozzi, I am certain it was you who blackmailed Marco. It was you who ordered Marco to give Chloe shelter in order to have control over her. It was you who ordered Chloe to be silent and made sure nobody saw her baby because the baby's father was your husband. That's impossible. Signor Cozzi, say something. All those obsessive thoughts must have poisoned the mind of your wife so much that she couldn't contain it anymore. She was consumed with anger and killed Chloe. I will not hear it. This is just ridiculous. Anna, even if this is true, what about Regina? Why kill her? Once Chloe was dead and nobody had any suspicions about Signora Cozzi, she must have thought that she had found her calling. Her calling? To act as the right hand of God. To purge the sinners, to make the world a purer and cleaner place. Regina was cheating on Adriano, thus committing a sin in the eyes of God. So she killed her as well. This sounds crazy, Anna. Do you have any proof? I found a brooch in Regina's hand when we checked the coffin. She must have tried to fight back and grabbed it from the attacker's neck. Officer Cotzi, I believe it belongs to your wife. Yes, it's Theodora's. It was my gift to her for her anniversary. No, no, this can't be true. She would never have stopped this crusade. But everything has come to an end now. Let me tell you something. You come here with your smile, sleek demeanor, and unholy words. You think you can stop me? Look at me! Look! The only way you can do this is if you kill me. And you better bring a whole army of devils to do that. The Lord shall show no mercy on your soul, you evil, spiteful woman. Mio Dio. Theodore, is it true? Out of the heavens, he let you hear. Enough! And on earth, he let you see. Please, enough! How is Officer Kotze? He is shaken. This situation has taken a toll on him. I can imagine. I hope he gets better soon. I hope so too. Have you found out where the baby is? Yes, Signora Cozzi told us that the baby is in the children's shelter of Maria Goretti. Oh, thank goodness for that. I was so worried. Yes. Oh, well, I guess it is goodbye then. I guess so, Luigi. Oh, thank you, Luigi. Will we see each other again? Who knows? But I'm glad that we've met.